What is up, my fellow Tarhans? I'm Captain Beans, and welcome to High Fleet Builds, where today we will find out just how many machine guns can stop cruise missiles. We will find out how many of these 2A37 machine guns and how many of these AK-725 Wimpel machine guns does it take to stop a cruise missile like this one, the KH-15 missile, every time the missile enters the tactical screen and you have to shoot it down. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I think of this. And so, without further ado, let's go to Gerat to do the test. And welcome to Gerat, where I'm going to now show you how the 2A37 machine gun does against a cruise missile. So, over here we just have the main fleet with a bunch of missile carriers, and over here in Muchen, we have a very specialized ship which whose only purpose is to carry up to 24 machine guns. But what we're going to do is we're going to take away like 23 of them until we just have one machine gun and then we're going to fire a cruise missile at it and see how that does. And then after that we're going to have two machine guns, then three, then four, then five until these machine guns stop a cruise missile and then we'll see how that goes. Okay, so now this ship only has one machine gun and I'm going to send a cruise missile at it. And if it doesn't stop, then I'll just repeat the test with two. And if that doesn't stop, I'll repeat the test with three. And we'll go on until whatever the amount of machine guns that stops a cruise missile and probably repeat just to make sure it wasn't luck. And then we're also going to see just how many machine guns will guarantee stop a missile every time. And we're just going to send like six or eight of them. Alright, one machine gun. Alright, so as you saw, that one machine gun did not stop the cruise missile. Now, keep in mind this is also a heavily skill-based kind of strategy of just using machine guns to stop a cruise missile, but I don't think even one machine gun would have stopped it. So let's repeat the test, but with two. Alright, now two machine guns. Alright, three machine guns. Three machine guns did stop it, the cruise missile, and so let's send a couple of more just to make sure that this wasn't a fluke. Alright, second test with three machine guns. Take three, three machine guns. Alright, so three machine guns, that was definitely a fluke. So, let's just move on. Four machine guns. Five machine guns. Six machine guns. Six machine guns, take two. Seven machine guns, take one. Eight machine guns. Eight machine guns, take two. Eight machine guns, take three. Ooh, it seems that eight of these machine guns have stopped three cruise missiles so far. Okay, let's send like four more of these mi missiles at this ship 
And let's see if we can just stop them. Eight machine guns. Alright, so on the 2A37 machine gun test, we can conclude that the amount of machine guns that will guarantee stop any amount of cruise missiles is 8. Is 8 pieces of machine gun. And so now, let's move on to the test of the different machine gun, the Wimpel machine gun, which is 57mm caliber. The one that we just tested now is the 37 millimeter machine gun and so let's move on to the second test and right now we just have only one on this ship so let's send a missile and let's do the test again one machine gun machine guns three machine guns four machine guns five machine guns Six machine guns. Seven machine guns. Eight machine guns. This should have a decent chance of stopping it. Let's send two more missiles to make sure that this wasn't a fluke. Okay, this is interesting. So, eight machine guns of 57 millimeter caliber can also stop up to three missiles as of just right now. Let's send four more like we did before and let's see if uh, all of these can be stopped. Now, this is going to also be a test of my own skill. So, yeah, if, if I get slightly damaged, uh, it's probably because of skill, and I might just have to repeat this again. Alright, let's go. Alright, so that is actually very interesting. So both the 2A37 and the AK-725 Wimpel machine guns can stop a cruise missile if there are 8 of each, which is a pretty interesting result. And let's get back to the ship builder and I'll tell you what I think about this. And so. Who is better, the 2A37 or the AK-725 Vimpel at stopping cruise missiles? And 
In terms of CIWS, both of them are actually good because 8 of each guns were enough to stop cruise missiles guaranteed, and so they are actually kind of even. However, in terms of cost, having 8 of these machine guns, the Wimpel machine guns, is cheaper than having 8 of these 37mm machine guns, simply because these cost 3000 each, and so in total this is going to be 24000 if you deploy 8 of them, and the Wimpel machine guns t cost 2000 each, and so having 8 of those is only 16000 and so having 8 of these Wimpel machine guns is cheaper. Now another thing to take into account is the effective range of each caliber. The 37mm bullets have a pretty short sort of effective range, and that means that you have to fire all of these machine guns when the cruise missile is actually very close to you. Uh, first of all, in order to keep the effective range, and also to make sure that all of the volume of fire is concentrated on the missile and has the highest chance of killing it. However, the 57mm bullets can stay effective a little bit further than the 37mm bullets, and so firing these Wimpel cannons a little bit earlier is actually fine. And also, a thing about the 57mm is that it doesn't have as much of a spread as the 37mm does, and so firing it a little bit earlier does not lose the volume of fire, and so these things you could say are a little bit more effective in terms of effective range and volume of fire. So all in all, when in doubt, just slap on 8 of either these or these onto your ship and you'll be just fine against cruise missiles as long as you have the aim to fire at the missiles. And that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and let me know what you think of this and thank you very much for watching. Tarhans, happy building!